When we think of vegetables, the first thing that comes to mind is curries or savory dishes that we normally have. Recently at a wedding reception, I had tried this delicious loki kheer and I was really blown away by the way it was made. So today I've decided to show you guys this very special recipe which is made with bottle gourd that is loki. So let's get started and check out the recipe. For the loki kheer, I'm going to soak quarter cup of sabudana, just tapioca pearls. Pour enough water so that the sabudana or the tapioca pearls are completely immersed in water and let it soak for about 2 hours minimum. Peel the loki, cut off the ends. Remove the seeds in the center and grate it. Use the fine grater. Take a wide saucepan or a kadai. Add 2 tablespoons of ghee. Add the grated loki to the saucepan or the kadai. Make sure you make it immediately after grating. Cook the bottle gourd for about 15 minutes. You can see the vegetable is completely cooked. Next, I'm going to add 1 litre of full fat boiled milk. Once the milk comes to a boil, reduce the flame and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. The milk is nicely reduced. Next, I'm going to add the soaked tapioca pearls. Drain the water and add the tapioca pearls to the milk. A good indication to see or to note if the tapioca pearls are cooked is to check. You can see they become transparent and also they become nice and soft. Keep the flame on low and continue to cook. So let them cook for about 5 minutes. Since we've soaked them for 2 hours, it shouldn't take long to Cook the tapioca pearls. The tapioca pearls are cooked. Now I'm going to add the cardamom powder. To give it a nice extra flavor, I'm also going to add some dried rose petals. Now this is entirely optional. If you don't have rose petals, you can also add a drop of rose essence or rose water. But these dried rose petals gives a very natural rose essence or a rose flavor to the kheer. Next, I'm going to add 3 4 cup of sugar. You can adjust the sugar according to your taste. So if you can see, the kheer has thickened beautifully. Turn off the stove, roast a few cashews and raisins and add to the kheer. Pour half teaspoon of ghee to a small pan. I'm going to roast cash nuts and raisins. Roast the cash nuts till they are golden brown in colour. Once the cash nuts have come to a golden brown colour, remove them and roast some raisins. Roast the raisins till they plump up and remove them immediately. Add the roasted cashews and raisins. You can serve the kheer hot or chilled. So next time you want to make kheer, try making with loki which is bottle gourd. And the key points to remember is make sure the vegetable is fresh uh, before you make the kheer. And the little uh, addition to this kheer is adding the sabunana which is the tapioca pearls. Now I personally enjoyed having the kheer with the uh, tapioca pearls in it. If you want you can even add a little bit of vermicelli and uh, enjoy this kheer warm or cold. You can get a copy of our first edition of the home cooking book on Amazon and 21 frames.